Welcome to statistics class. As we progress, we will be learning something new about statistics, and I am going to give you all of the resources that you need to learn the topic for that week and then do the assignments. Of course, with all of that material available, it is good to know what you need and make sure that you did not miss anything. So let's get an overview of what you will need to know to be successful in this class. Each week, you can check everything that is required for that unit by reading the course overview. This synopsis is the place to start. Each topic has its own class notes. These notes will follow with what I'm teaching you in class or in the videos. Notes are in a PDF format, so you can either print them and bring them to class with you, or all of the fields in the notes are fillable so you can type directly into your PDF notes. So here is hint number one for being successful in statistics class. Read your notes before class. Just having seen the material once before we talk about it will make a huge difference in your comprehension. I also provide what I call handouts, sometimes abbreviated HO. The handouts are copies of the PowerPoint presentation slides for that week. Handouts are optional in that the material in the slides is already in your notes, so you do not need to print them. Some people like to have them pulled up on a computer monitor to follow while listening to the lecture. You may also notice that sometimes there are slides or pictures in the class presentation or the video that are not in the handouts. And I do that for the sake of file size. Many weeks, you will have data sets, and we will use those in class or for illustration purposes. Although the data sets are posted with the notes for each week, there is also a folder that you can download containing all of the data sets for the entire class. The .sav files are for SPSS. .xlsx files are for Excel and the .csv, or comma-separated values, files will open in Excel, JASP, R, or SPSS. So here is hint number two for success. Always download datasets to your desktop before opening them. Fewer software errors that way. The homework will be assigned at the end of each class period and will be due at the start of the following week. I will have some additional guidelines about homework in a moment. So here is another hint for success. Come to class prepared. When you get to class, I will have the presentation pulled up for that week. Be sure to check out the first slide. It will tell you what to expect for the lecture. Each slide starts off with the week number and the topic that we will be learning. In this example, descriptive statistics for week three. You might also notice some icons in the lower left corner. These icons tell you what software or tools we will use that week. The first icon is a calculator, and it means that we will be working some problems by hand, so you might want to have your calculator handy. The second icon is for SPSS. It means that we will be using SPSS and there will be data sets that you need to have ready. The X and the W are for Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word for data handling or for reporting our findings. You are also free to use an open source Office program like OpenOffice or LibreOffice. And by the way, if you are using an open source software, send them a little love in the form of a small donation for making such great software freely available. So here are some things to know about the homework assignments. Homework is assigned at the end of each class period. If you are in a seated class, then the homework is due at the beginning of the next class. If you are in an online class, homework is due on the assigned due date in the homework drop box. If I have specific information about homework, I will tell you in class. Next, do your homework in pencil. Don't do math in pen. You may complete much of the homework on your computer using the fillable forms in the PDF. Take pride in your work. You will make mistakes while you are learning. You will have false starts. You will get on the wrong track. 
perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. On the other hand, your homework represents you. Take pride in it. Maybe if you make some mistakes and have pen scratch outs, see, I told you to use a pencil. You may even want to redo some of those problems on a fresh copy of the homework so that it will look really good. Learn to paraphrase. You may encounter homework questions that refer to material in the notes. You may be then inclined to copy from the notes into the homework. Don't do that. The point is not that you can find the answer in the notes. The point is that you pack that information into your brain. Put your ideas into your own words, or at least different words. The effort will help your understanding. Do not do homework during the lecture. In a seated class, sometimes people try to get a head start on the homework as we go along in the lecture. Bad idea. When you do that, you invariably miss what we are doing in class while you are writing down answers. Use the lectures or the videos to learn, and then start on the homework and go back to your notes or the videos when you are seeking specific information. SPSS output should be formatted in APA style. The rule is this. Never turn in raw SPSS output. SPSS output is never in APA style. Do not attach printouts of the SPSS output. I want to see you translate that output into the proper format to show that you understand the topic. And I will provide you information on how to do that as we move along in the class. Late work. I know that sometimes you may miss a class. Now, honestly, I'd recommend that you not do that. Everything builds on everything else in statistics. What we learn this week, we will use next week, and the week after, and probably on the final. Missing a class can really set you back. Now, that said, if you miss a class, you should read the notes and do your best to keep up with the work. You are allowed two late assignments. They will each be minus 10% for being late, plus anything else that you get wrong. After that, assignments automatically get no more than half credit. So your next hint for success? Come to all of the classes. Keep your homework until the end of the semester, just in case. Sometimes things go screwy with grading or something is not recorded correctly. By keeping your graded assignment, you can show me the correct grade and I will fix anything that is incorrect. After the final, you can keep the assignments, throw them away, whatever. But during the class, this or any class, keep all of your assignments at least until after you have received your final grade for the course. Help each other, but don't copy. Here's what I mean. I encourage you to collaborate and even form study groups. Collaboration in academia is normal and expected. In fact, collaboration is encouraged. Think about that word collaboration. It is to co-labor, to labor together. Collaboration is working together, with the emphasis on working. Collaboration is vital to science. I love to collaborate with colleagues. It allows me to work with some wonderful, smart people, to learn from them, to help them, to let them help me, and together we become better friends and colleagues. And collaboration is vital to science for this reason. We know what we're doing. When you know statistics, people want to collaborate with you. You bring something valuable to the collaborative relationship. But what does it mean for you, the aspiring scientist, for you, the becoming competent statistical analyst, it means that you don't know what you're doing. Yet, you are becoming the kind of person that others want to collaborate with because you share what you know and what you learn with others. So let's talk about what collaboration is. First, I encourage you to form study groups, meet with other students, talk to each other about the assignments. If you're struggling with something, ask for advice. If you understand the assignment, offer suggestions and explanations. There is no better way to learn 
than by teaching someone else. It forces you to understand the material. It is okay to check final answers. If you have the same answer as everyone else, you probably did it right. If one of you has a different answer than everyone else, it's probably wrong. If everybody has different answers, then go back and figure out what happened. You will learn from mistakes. It is also okay to get a tutor. Lots of graduate students are happy to help you one-on-one -on -one with statistics. Usually there is a fee, but that is why graduate students are happy to help. Find someone that you like and trust. It can be money well spent. Finally, it's okay to ask your instructor. I would be happy to help you for free. Now, on the other hand, I expect you to come to me with actual questions. Don't just hand me a blank homework page and say, I don't know what to do. I expect you to give it a try with the information that you have. Show me what you have tried and where you got stuck, and I will help you get unstuck. Now let's talk about what collaboration is not. Certainly, it is not having someone else do your homework assignment for you. That is not collaboration. That is cheating. Also, it is not collaboration to split up the assignment, where one person does 1 through 5 and the other person does 6 through 10. If you do not understand the material, it is not okay to simply take answers from someone who did the assignment. It is also not collaboration to just give away answers. It is great to collaborate with your student colleagues, but you are under no obligation to help other students who are not willing to do their own work at learning. So here is what I suggest for successful collaboration. First, do as much as you can on your own. Then meet with your group. If you need help, ask. If you can offer help, it will reinforce your own learning. And, of course, all of this assumes that you started the homework soon after class, not waiting until the last minute or just before the next class begins. When you collaborate well, you understand what you did and are able to explain it to someone else. If you could not show someone else how to do it once you finish, you are not collaborating. Follow these steps, and you should have a successful collaboration with your colleagues, and you will learn statistics well. Of course, this is just an overview of the class, and you may have more specific questions. You may want to know, when are the assignments due? When the tests will be? What is the topic for each week? What's on the final? Or what book chapters you should read to be prepared? All good questions. Where can you find those answers? What if I told you that the information you seek is in the syllabus? The syllabus and the schedule containing answers to specific details of this course have been posted for you to read. But here is the final hint for finding the answers that you seek. Number one, read the syllabus. Okay, that's it. Follow these ideas and you are going to learn everything that you can in statistics class. Good luck, and I'll see you in class.